So here we have some lime water. I'm just going to pour enough lime water into this test tube so that it will. The word that I'm using is submerge. It will submerge the end of this tube. I'll just disconnect it. So this is called a delivery tube, and the delivery tube is what we use to transfer gases from uh, uh, where a chemical reaction is into perhaps something that we want to use to test the gas. So today what we're going to do is we're just going to have a quick look at how to test for uh, the gas carbon dioxide. Now in, an, uh, in another video uh, that I have on the channel, we actually made the carbon dioxide. I suddenly realised earlier today that um, I actually need to perhaps show you what the, what the test is. Now, this is actually another reaction altogether. Um, this powder is sodium carbonate. Uh, sodium carbonate is actually contained in washing up uh, powders, or washing powders, what I should say, not washing up powders. So, I've actually got this in a slightly large test tube, so I'll bring it close to the camera and show you in greater detail. There we go. Can you see that? Yeah, great detail, love it. Okay, and so what I've also got is, I've got, um, I've got an acid here. This is actually dilute sulfuric acid. I'm just gonna be quite cautious about this. And uh, I'm going to add the acid to the, um, to the carbonate. So, uh, the chemical reaction that we actually have here, and I will just write it for you, is, you have to write this as a word equation. I need two words for this. <laughs> uh, so we have sodium, carbonate, that's our reactant, okay, so we would write it on the left hand side, uh, add sulfuric acid, we don't have to say that it is dilute in the word equation, and we have our arrow to represent that it is making something, and then we actually have sodium sulfate, which I know from knowledge, plus carbon dioxide, which is the gas that I will uh, anticipate seeing. And the final thing that I also have is water, okay? So when a metal carbonate reacts with acid, you actually have uh, carbon dioxide plus water plus what we call the metal salt. So the metal salt's name uh, in this situation is sodium sulfate. Carbon dioxide, I hope, will be bubbling and the water will remain behind. Okay, so that's the reaction that we've actually got uh, a chance to see today. Okay. So, when we actually do the chemical test, we will just see bubbles and we can't, re we can't identify that, oh, this is carbon dioxide, right? So what we do is we have a second reaction happening where we use a reagent called lime water and we know as chemists, if we bubble carbon dioxide through lime water, it should come up as a milky, cloudy white, what we call precipitate. So the cloudiness forms because there is a, uh, a white substance that, uh, that, that forms, uh, it's a white solid that forms within the solution and it can't dissolve. So it makes it cloudy, okay? Right, so what I've now got to do is I've got to add the sulfuric acid it. This is the sulfuric acid, and you can already see some bubbling taking place, which is a great sign. Squeeze the pet just to be a bit more safer, and to add plenty of the acid. I've got excess of the sodium carbonate, so hopefully it will work now. There we go. And now I have the bubbles going through, and you can immediately see the cloudiness. There's the cloudiness. I just about managed to get it before the reaction uh, ended. There we go. But here we have that cloudiness. I'll just move to the side so you can see it. Milky, cloudy white precipitate. 100% confirmation that the gas that I have made is carbon dioxide. Okay, now I'm going to go around and show everyone in the class. But uh, feel free to clap or appreciate. There we go. Here we go. Thank you. You can end now.